Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and welcome to Selah Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I'm Pastor Fred Moore, pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center in Round Rock, Texas, a suburb of Austin, Texas. Love, peace, and blessings to my kingdom family and friends that encouraged me with regards to this podcast. I am blessed by your input and I would ask others as you join us, would you please consider subscribing and sharing us with your family and friends. I want to give a special shout out to Eldridge Maddie Gibbons for encouraging me this week about how much you've enjoyed the podcast. Thank you, Elder Maddie. That really blessed me. We appreciate it. Shout out to my godson that helped us help this uh, podcast to be possible. Shout out to him, Xavier McCrary, and shout out to Carl Michaels for our online services that they provide as well. Listen, we want to invite you to the Kingdom of God Christian Center. We meet Sunday mornings at 10 a.m in person and online and into our Bible studies on, on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. We would love for you to either join us in person or online. I'm excited about our c thought that I'm going to be sharing with you today. As I've sought the Lord, I believe that it will be timely for the season that we're in. Let us go to, let's, let's have a word of prayer together, beloved. Father, we thank you again that as we acknowledge you, we thank you for these, your people joining us on this podcast, Father God, and we just ask your continued blessings that every time they come, that they will receive something from you, Lord God. So speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. Anoint messenger, message, and listeners. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to read in your hearing today, beloved, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. And for those of you, I know we're only together for a few minutes, but if you got your Bible app or your Bible, I always tell my church, every believer need to have a red Bible, not an R-E-D Bible, but an R-E-A-D Bible. So get your red Bible. We're going to read Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to one and 2, and the New Living Translation. And this is what it reads. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down and especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor besides God's throne. We're still beloved in the first month of 2023. And, and I always try to seek the Lord to give me something that will keep us in step with the seasons, with the season that we're in. And being that this is still, uh, by the time you hear this, we may be in the second month, I think, but we're still at the beginning of the year. Let me say it like that. We're still at the beginning of the year. So I always want to seek the Lord about something that will go right hand in hand at the beginning of the year. So now that we're at the beginning of the year, and one of the things that people do at the beginning of the year is they make New Year's resolutions. Everybody, not everybody, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. And I've done a little research on that. I'm going to tell you what my sea life thought is here in a minute. But I've done a little research on New Year's resolutions. And this is what I discovered. I pray that you will find it interesting. I, I don't know about you, but I like research. I like knowledge. I like to be informed. And one of the things that they said about New Year's re resolutions, here are the most common New Year's resolutions that people make. According to Forbes Health, uh, health according to Forbes Health, here's what they say are some of the common New Year's resolutions that people make are the most popular. The first one is improved mental health. They say 45% of people want to improve their mental health. And stay with me. I'm going to go somewhere with all this. Improve fitness. 39% want to improve fitness. 37% want to lose weight. 33% want to improve their diet. 30% want to improve their finances. Now, here's something that's interesting, beloved. 
it is said that 43% of all the people expect to fail in their New Year's resolutions by February. <laughs> that is interesting. You say, Pastor Moore, where you're going with all this? My beloved Bishop Nate Holcomb taught us first the natural, doing the spiritual. So my Sila thought that I want to share with you, borrowing from these statistics that I just read to you, is this. Weight Watchers laying aside the weight. At the, we're still at the beginning of the year, so I want to talk to you about Weight Watchers laying aside the weight. Look with me again back at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I will see live thought and theme is Weight Watchers laying aside the weights. Look back with me at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. It reads, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, listen, New Living Translation, let us strip off every weight that slows us down. I pray that in this new year and on this podcast, see a lot of moments with Pastor Moore, that you will allow me to address the weights in our lives that's attempting to slow us down. Because we're in a race, beloved. We're in a Christian race and every man runs at his own pace. But here's the thing about it. Listen, and in this Christian race, let me just say this at the beginning. It's not about you trying to come in first. It's about you finishing your race. It's not about you competing with another Christian. It's about you completing your race. Again, I'm going to say that again. In this Christian race that we're in, where God wants us to Listen, be weight watchers. We want to lay aside the weights. It's not about you and I coming in first. We want to finish our race. It's not about us. Listen, it's not about us competing against our fellow Christian. It's about us completing the race that God has put us in. Again, Hebrews 12, 1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, watch this, let us strip out every weight that slows us down. Let's start with this, just on this first one. Do you know who and what is slowing you down in your walk with God, in your Christian walk? Because in the natural, a lot of people, when they start in their New Year's out, they say, the first thing I need to do is lose some weight. I want to help you and I to lose whatever weight is slowing us down in our Christian present, in our Christian progress and progression. It's not the will of God that we carry things that's slowing us down. We even use the term dead weight. You don't want to carry no dead weight that's slowing you down when it comes to the purposes of God. I pray that you will stay with me as we talk about Weight Watchers laying aside the weights. This is Pastor Fred Moore, and this is Selah Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.